subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, Exploring Selenium, Understanding and Handling Disabled Elements Introduction Selenium is a powerful tool for automating web browsers, making it an excellent choice for testing and web scraping. In this tutorial, we will delve into the concept of disabled elements in web pages and how to interact with them using Selenium. We'll cover the reasons why elements might be disabled, how to identify them, and how to handle them in your Selenium scripts. Prerequisites Understanding Disabled Elements Elements on a web page can be disabled for various reasons, such as incomplete form fields, insufficient user privileges, or dynamic page behavior. A disabled element is unclickable and typically appears grayed out. To interact with disabled elements using Selenium, we need to identify and handle them appropriately. Identifying Disabled Elements we can use Selenium's web driver to find and interact with elements on a web page. The is underscore enabled method is useful for determining if an element is enabled or disabled. Let's consider an example where we have a login form with a disabled submit button. Now, let's write a Python script using Selenium to interact with this form. Handling disabled elements. To interact with a disabled element, we can enable it first by modifying its attributes. In our example, we can enable the submit button before clicking it. Conclusion Understanding and handling disabled elements in Selenium is crucial for robust test automation and web scraping. By leveraging the is underscore enabled method and modifying element attributes, you can interact with disabled elements effectively. This tutorial provides a foundation for dealing with such scenarios in your Selenium scripts. ChatGPT